Hi, I'm Susan Bain. I'm a mediator. I'm also a transfer agent, and I get buyback cases of Lemon Law cars, um, and I work with Impartial Services Group. So if you're watching this video, you're probably going to be meeting me soon. I'm doing this to kind of answer some questions, and hopefully uh, our meeting will go as smoothly as possible. Um, so I hope that, that you pick up a few things, some answers to your questions. And if you uh, have questions that you still don't get answered, you can either talk to me about that on the phone, um, or you can contact your manufacturer's representative. Um, probably they would have the answers to most of the questions that I won't have. So you've already had a negotiation process with the manufacturer's contact person. And what happens is you do your deal between you and the manufacturer. And then once that deal is finished, then that goes to a mediation company called Impartial Services Group. And uh, they'll get that uh, information and the documentation. They confirm the amount of the check with you. And then they overnight that uh, packet of paperwork to me. So when I get it, what I'm doing is simply facilitating the agreement that you already have with the manufacturer. In other words, I am not the manufacturer. I am not the, the person who's coming from the company. I'm not from the company. They're not my boss. I'm not employed by the manufacturer or uh, impartial services group. Um, I'm simply facilitating this packet of paperwork that is the agreement that you already have with the manufacturer. So I can't change anything. I can't um, tear up a check and issue a new one on the spot, nothing like that. Um, I just want to make that clear that I am not the manufacturer. A lot of people look at me and say, oh, you're from the, the company. You're from Subaru. You're from whoever. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm from Grants Pass. <laughs> so um, I will have documents for you to sign, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'll, I may have a check for you, too, or you may be getting a new car. It just depends on the what's been worked out between you and the dealership and the manufacturer. And um, you may have a loan that gets paid off. And as soon as we get all the paperwork done from, um, from your buyback that I do, then um, I will notify Impartial Services Group that we're all done. And if it's the same day, if, if, it's, if they haven't closed down work yet, um, they will do the loan, uh, finalize the loan from their end uh, on the same day. If it's at the end of business day for them, uh, then they'll do it the next business day. So once all the documents are signed, I'll notify them that we've completed the case and they, they take it from there. They will do any kind of loan paperwork on their end. So what we, um, is if you have any questions about that, again, uh, I don't have any documentation. I don't have any paperwork about the loan that's, that's going on behind the scenes. I have what I have. And I don't know any details about anything that's gone on to create those documents. I know nothing. I'm just facilitating the paperwork that I have in front of me. And if you have any questions about the forms you're filling out or the details of the documents, I don't have your answers. If you have any questions, you need to get those answered before our meeting date. And not by me, because I won't know the answers to the questions. So once we get to the meeting, the first thing I'll do is uh, go out and inspect your car. And what that means is, and I'll take pictures of it, what that means is the car is going back to the manufacturer in the way that you received it from the manufacturer, which is showroom perfect. So um, if the windshield was perfect when you received the car, it goes back perfect. If the tires had tread on them before when you received the car, they go back to the manufacturer in the way that you receive them, which is perfect. Um, I look for any upholstery uh, burn marks or scratches to the paint or dents or dings or <clears throat> missing covers of uh, or whatever. Um, I look for windshield uh, chips and scratches and breakings and things like that. Any, um, any damage that I see there at the meeting um, I have to record. I'll take pictures of it. And you will be responsible for uh, making it right before the deal can take place. So that means 
if we're there at the deal and there's a broken windshield, um, that's going to have to be replaced. So at that point, I point that out to the dealership. They get an estimate for what the repairs will be. And then it's up to you to write a check to the dealership or to give money um, in whatever way the dealership will accept your money um, and, and, get re and get that repaired. So if that means we have to cancel the meeting at that point, we have to cancel the meeting at that point, and uh, then we reschedule it for a later time. That's what it means. Um, so your car has to come back to the dealership and back to the manufacturer like you received it in the first place. Um, normal wear and tear is allowed. So you know your car, you know what's been going on with it, you know uh, what it looks like inside and out. Um, if you have any questions about, is this considered normal wear and tear? Ask your manufacturer contact person, not me. Um, any, to me, any damage is damage, and I'll charge you for it. Um, you'll have to get that repaired by the dealership or by somebody before you bring the car to the dealership to, uh, to get your check um, so, so that there's no damage. You're returning a perfect car because you received a perfect car. Um, also, if you have uh, had a chip in the windshield, um, it's likely that you're still going to have to get the, the windshield replaced. Um, no windshields, no imperfect windshields will be accept, accepted, just so that you know that. So um, I go around the vehicle and I look uh, to see if it's perfect. I record any kind of damage um, and anything that's beyond normal wear and tear is your responsibility. So if you want to know what normal wear and tear is, please have someone else explain that to you, someone from the manufacturer, because they can spell out, they, you can ask them specifically, I've got this, is that going to be counted against me? get your question answered then, because when I get there, it's going to be counted against you. So then we, uh, once I, I do the inspection of the car and make sure that all the pieces are there and it's in A1 showroom condition, then, uh, then we go on to the, doing the, the documents and signing the documents. Um, the first one that we'll do in California is the vehicle vessel transfer and reassignment form and that's in California, also known as Reg 262. Um, if you have a question about what that is, please get your question answered. This gives power of attorney over the documents of the car you're turning in. And I'm not an attorney. I cannot explain this. If you need it explained, ask an attorney. There's a damage notification. You'll have to sign off whether your car has been in an accident, yes or no. There's an odometer disclosure form. Is this the actual mileage or did you get the odometer replaced? Yes or no. There's a release form. Um, please know what you are signing on or what you're agreeing to on the release form before you meet me. If you have to have a clarification on this form, please contact the manufacturer for an explanation. I will be signing as a witness. I can do that. Um, but if you have any questions on what the release means, please contact your uh, manufacturer and uh, make sure that you understand what you're signing. I cannot explain it to you. Um, the manufacturer can. There's an authorization of payoff and release of title. There's a vehicle condition report that I will be doing. Um, I fill that out as I inspect the car. Um, please bring two sets of keys back to um, the meeting. Please bring your, the books that you, re, you received, the spare, the jack, the wheel lock. If there's whatever, however the, the car came to you when, it, when you received it the first day, bring all of that stuff back with it to return it to the manufacturer in showroom condition. Anything beyond that, uh, I'll have to charge you for, simply. Um, when we're all done, then I will give the dealership an authorization to release the vehicle so ISG knows where and when to, to pick up the vehicle. There's also an assignment of sales tax refund. And again, uh, a lot of people will have questions on this one. I'm not an attorney. I cannot tell you what the sales tax refund assignment is about. If you have questions on what that means, get your questions answered by the manufacturer contact person before we meet. Um, at the end of our, at the end of my inspection, I will tape um, 
a, a notice up on the windshield that says uh, this car is being uh, bought back by the manufacturer and nobody, uh, only authorized persons can, can have access to it because it's going to be going back to the manufacturer. It's going to be bought back by the manufacturer. I stick that onto the windshield and then we're all done. You may be getting a check, you may be getting your loan paid off, you may be getting a new car. It, it all depends on your particular deal. Um, and you also may be getting a, a sheet that describes all of the financial, all the number crunching. Sometimes people get that, sometimes they don't. Um, there's also something that may need to be notarized depending on the state, depending on the situation. Um, we may have to schedule a notary schedule along with this uh, deal as well, so that's something else to figure in, and I never know um, if we're going to have to include a notary until I get your packet. So if you have any questions about anything associated with the transaction, please get your questions answered before our meeting, po most probably with the manufacturer's contact person. Um, it makes the deal so much easier on both of us, and then, and please make sure that your car is perfect showroom condition inside and out and and will have no uh, no hitches and usually deals go 30 minutes long 45 minutes long unless uh, unless there's unexpected damage and then we have to get an estimate and you need to provide money and we might have to reschedule it and things like that so um, to make it easy as possible get all your homework done first and then our meeting will just go very easy and it will be fun for both of us and I look forward to meeting you and uh, having a fun time visiting at our transaction so hope that helps and we'll see you later bye